Hello, this has been with SCW. So you've got your system. The next step before installation is going to be bench testing. What bench testing is going to do is verify that all the components of your system arrived safely. This will save you time down the road. Uh, when you're installing the system and the cameras are at their final location, if you run into any issues, you'll know that it's more likely a, a cabling issue versus an actual component. Okay, so I got my NVR set up to bench test. It's powered on, I've got the USB mouse connected, as well as an HDMI cable going to my monitor. I also have a factory pre-made ethernet cable and my cameras. So I've got the recorder set up with the largest grid option. You can set this by right-clicking, going to multi-window and selecting the grid you like. So on the back of the recorder, you're gonna see the PoE ports. Each port is numbered and has individual status lights. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by plugging one end of my pre-made ethernet cable into port one of the recorder. Now the other end of the cable I wanna plug into the camera's ethernet connection. Now you'll notice on this particular model there's an additional lead. This is for if we weren't using power over ethernet, um, you would need to run additional power through this lead, but since we're using PoE, we won't be needing this today. Now, on the back of the recorder, you're gonna notice a green status light flashing. You may also notice the IR light illuminating as the camera's powering on. We'll give this uh, about a minute or two, and we should be seeing the image on the screen. Okay, so we see the camera image has come up. So now that we've confirmed that this camera is working and port one is working, let's repeat these steps for every camera and every port on our recorder. Once you have confirmed that everything's working well, you can now start the installation process. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, visit us at getscw.com or give us a call at 828-483-4237.